Hello, and welcome to the Rouser College Natural Resources Research Overview. Our motto here in Rouser College is to see the bigger picture and make a better world. One of the ways that faculty and students put action to this motto is by conducting research. There are a number of opportunities and resources on campus and within our college for you to get involved with research here at Cal. You may pursue a faculty initiated research project to assist a faculty member with their research, or you may create your own student initiated project to pursue a research topic you are passionate about. Whichever path you choose to participate in for your research, you will have the opportunity to work with a faculty mentor to help you throughout your research journey. Throughout the remainder of this video, you will hear from Rouser College faculty, students, and staff on what research is to them, how they got started with research, and information on how you can get involved with research yourself. To me, research is the process of asking questions that nobody else has asked before or finding answers to questions that nobody has found the answer to. I think the best definition that I've heard of what research is, is that research is formalized curiosity. It's poking and prying with a purpose. Research for me is exploring and trying to find evidence to answer a question that is puzzling either my colleagues or policymakers or puzzling me. So it's really the process of discovering. And that's something that I think is really exciting. The concept that you're going to find things out that nobody in the world knows yet. One of the research projects which I like to poke and pry in is understanding how plants respond to gravity. How is it that they convert a physical stimulus, which is gravity, into a growth response? My training is as an economist. So I use simple models to guide me and see whether, according to my model, consumers or firms should respond to that policy. And then I go and try to collect data to see if the policies actually work. I'm a virologist. I have a research lab and we study how viruses interact with cells during infection and how they take over cells. The reason I would recommend that you participate in research instead of just taking classes is that it gives you the unmatched experience of taking the knowledge and techniques you've learned in your classes and applying them to a project you care about from start to finish. I decided to participate in research as I've learned that it is one of the best ways to apply the skills and knowledge that I've learned in my classes and also the best possible means of discovering the right strategy and new knowledge. I um, joined Brit's lab through a partnership with a club on campus that I'm part of. It's called the Biology Scholars Program. And as someone who had no prior research experience, I thought that this would uh, be a pretty cool opportunity. I decided to participate in research because luckily enough, it's a part of my course curriculum here. So we, for the environmental science major, we spend one semester designing our proposal and then two semesters carrying out an individual research project. So I got started with research because in my second semester, I took an econometrics class and I learned about different faculty initiated research projects. And one of them was with my econometrics professor who was researching the soda tax in Berkeley and the effect of it on soda sales. So I approached her after class one day and applied to her project and got accepted. In high school, I did a research project about tomatoes, and I was really interested in plants and growing plants for biofuel purposes. And then when I got to Cal, I was looking for research experiences in biofuels. And so I started looking into labs. I kind of just cold emailed professors. Um, after a couple interviews with grad students, I found a good fit and ended up working in that lab um, from my freshman year on. Currently, I am looking at a little plant in the mustard family. The scientific name is Arabidopsis thaliana. And I wanted to look at sort of the short-term and long-term impacts of antibiotic exposure on this species. The objective of our research is to identify the environmental effects of drug production, in particular opium poppy. We want to know 
whether opium poppy cultivation leads to large deforestation, and whether the threat of enforcement of eradication leads to increased deforestation. So currently I'm working with eDNA, environmental DNA um, samples, where samples are collected from uh, external DNA excreted by uh, species in the environment. Our end goal is hoping to correct any technical bias in terms of um, the taxonomic assignments of species in that habitat when an eDNA sample is collected. I go into the greenhouse pretty frequently and check on them, water them, and then once a week I treat them with antibiotic solutions and this is going to go on for eight weeks and then I'm going to harvest and look at a variety of characteristics and whether or not they've been influenced by soil type or um, antibiotic exposure. Typical days of research looks like gathering relevant resources and data to build my own data sets to do data analysis that I want to do. I also meet with my mentor frequently to discuss our progress, work on coding, and to also discuss the things that needs to be done. So in the earlier stage where I have to uh, actually sequence uh, EDN samples, I'll be working in long hours in the lab working on uh, sequencing reaction and uh, sending sample to the sequencing facilities. And now on the later part of uh, the project, I'm mainly working with uh, analysis. So I will be spending a lot of time in front of the computer. I think one of the most valuable things that came out of that project was the coding skills that I developed. Having that hands-on experience, you really have to think what code do I need to execute this question? The thing that I enjoy most about research is probably the research community at Cal. There's just so many people who are doing such amazing things and always are interested to hear what you're doing and what makes you excited about what you're doing. When students get into the lab, they realize that it's a very social endeavor, that you're constantly having to interact with other people and share ideas. When I was doing my honors thesis, I had the opportunity to go with my mentors to a conference in DC. And so I applied to the um, CNR travel grant so that I could go present my poster at this conference and they provided me with $600 that covered the cost of my flight to get there. It's really collaborative and flexible. There isn't like a set class period where you're actually working on this research. You actually get to pick the time for you that works best. And it is it's really intensive, but I think it's really rewarding and it's a lot of fun to take the ideas, the sort of more abstract ideas that I've learned in courses and get to apply them to a project that I'm really interested in. One of my favorite things about doing research would be to see how a scientific story is formed over time. We will all sit down together and discuss uh, the results. And it's really during this time that I see what story is shaping out. One of the things that I especially enjoyed with undergraduates that I worked with over the years is being able to see this shift in, in how they see themselves initially as coming in and, and not really knowing how to set up experiments, not uh, knowing exactly how it's done, how the discoveries that they're learning about in their classes are actually made. And being able to be in a research lab gives you that direct insight into how those discoveries are made as you make your own discoveries. I'm a transfer student too, and I'm forever grateful for the supportive system, professors, advisors, and mentors who have helped me to be where I'm at today. As a re-entry student, I began gaining a deep passion and respect for research and the countless pathways it opens to us when I decided to return to school and finish my degree. Even so, conducting research at an institution like Berkeley always seemed like a dream I wasn't completely sure I could obtain. But with as many incredible resources available to get started in research at Cal, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to at least try. <laughs> and I'm now so happy that I did. For more information about research, you can go to nature.berkeley.edu. Here under the research tab, you can see more information about how to get involved in undergraduate research. There are many ways to work with our faculty members on research projects, and working with a faculty member can earn you independent study and research units, which will apply towards your graduation requirements 
as well as some requirements for some majors. Through the UREP program, you can work with faculty in departments all across campus. We also have the sponsored projects for undergraduate research program in which you can apply for projects specifically with the faculty in our college and this is only open to students in the college. We also provide funding for student initiated projects through this program and if you have other conference or travel related expenses you can apply to have those covered through our travel grant. These student initiated projects can form the basis of a senior thesis or honors thesis. If you want to conduct a year long project and you have the required GPA, you can apply through our honors program. There you will have the opportunity to present at the honors symposium as well as earn honors in your major upon graduation. We also have our poster sessions each semester which are open to all students in the college and they're an opportunity for you to present to your peers and other campus members. For more information about SPUR, Honors, and URAP, you can click on these useful links on the side. For tips re related to finding a position in a research lab, you can click here. Here will also take you to more information about the research conducted at Rouser College, including the centers and facilities that are utilized in research. If you're a prospective student, you can click here at the top under prospective students or here for apply to Rouser for more information about the majors and other opportunities within the college, as well as more information about how to contact us. So I highly recommend anyone get involved in research and it really it, it made the best of my time at CNR. It's one of the strengths of Berkeley, the synergy between teaching learning the methods and then applying them in research projects that are in our college aim at making the world a better place. Learning from the best and being able to apply the skills and knowledge into topics that I am passionate about is an amazing experience in and of itself. Whichever interest and passion you may have, you'll find a place at Berkeley and thrive. Go Bears!